Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review. And today, very excited to check it out Break Free from Yulu. This is for ages 6 plus. It's for 2 to 4 players, taking about 15 minutes to play. And in Break Free, you are going to be handcuffed to other people with the key, and you're going to try to gain, well, break free from these handcuffs as fast as you can. If you're the first person to break free, you're going to get more points. You're going to do this over the course of three rounds. Whoever has the most points at the end of three rounds is going to be winning the game. It's pretty straightforward, but is it good? Let's open it up, and I'll tell you what I think. Alrighty then, we're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Break Free. So first of all, we have a handy dandy rule sheet. It's really kind of just one page, double-sided. It's got pictures, it's got a bunch of uh, alternate plays on the back, layouts of the maze up here, and it's a well-done rule booklet. should have you up and running in no time at all, and it also includes more stuff than you think it will include in it, which is nice. So in Break Free, you are going to have this handcuff device strapped to you on your non-dominant hand like so. And you're going to get four of these little handcuffs right here. So now that you've seen those, we're going to throw those off to the side. Next, you're going to get all these little doodads right here. And these are going to be the different locks that you're going to try and unlock from round to round to round. You're going to be racing to do this in order to get the tokens out in the middle. The first person to complete their lock and unlock themselves can grab the highest token. Then the second player grabs the second highest, third player grabs the third highest, so on and so forth. Pretty self-explanatory. So let's show you exactly how it works. So I'm going to try and do this. So right now I've got the yellow one set up. So we're going to take one of the yellow ones. We're going to slide it on into there like, <clears throat> like so. Oh, we've got to lock, line up that part. Then you put your little keyhole on there. It clicks nicely into place. Then you're going to take one of the keys right here. You're going to say ready, set, go. And then you're going to do your best to try to unlock the lock by moving it up and down and wiggling it and doing all sorts of stuff like that. Uh, most of the time, especially for adults, it's relatively easy. So, uh, let's see if I can do this. Oh my gosh, how, how long is this going to go? Oh my gosh, I think the keys... Okay, okay, get it out, get it out, come on. Get it, get it. Get it? Really? Really? Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Alright. Can't get the key out. <laughs> okay. So maybe I just, need, I just need to hit it at a different angle. So I'm going to scoot the camera back. I'm sure we can get it now. Uh, kids do have a lot of difficulty with this as well. Um, normally I did not have much difficulty. There it is in my class. But now you'd see, it, it, I've unlocked myself. I would probably get like the two token because you would still have someone struggling to do it, only one other person. Um, and that's how many points you get. And you go over the course of three rounds. You get the green round with the easy ones, the yellow round with the medium ones, and then the red rounds with the uh, the difficult one. And they do gain in points. And whoever has the most points at the end of three rounds will be the winner of Break Free. And that, in a nutshell, is how the game is played. <clears throat> Alrighty then, break free from Yulu. What are my final thoughts? Let's go with the pros, let's go with the cons. Before we do that, I do want to mention one thing I forgot to mention in the middle part, which is the fact that you will actually be handcuffed to each other, which makes it even more difficult than it was in the middle part for me. Something I did want to mention, though. Let's get to the pros, let's get to the cons. First, on the con side, two to four players, or er, restricted player count. Also, this is a children's game. Maybe you could get away with it at a party if people have been drinking a lot. Uh, but other than that, there's not much wiggle room for what kind of game this is. Children's game, family game, and party game. Uh, but only if you've had quite a bit to drink. Because for most adults, this is going to be relatively easy. Especially once you get down the fact that you have to go up and down. And once you figure out the mechanisms and, and the way to do it, it gets a lot easier. And I haven't done it in like a week or so, so in the middle part, it was pretty difficult for me. But I digress. <clears throat> Any other cons? There's no strategy to this game. Just try to unlock yourself as fast as possible. Sometimes I'll have component issues where um, a kid will pull up on the key abruptly and it'll actually rip this part off and then they have to, you know, frantically like, Mr. Forbes, I can't get it back on, I can't get it back on, and they're freaking out because it's a time game. It's not a big deal. I really don't have too many cons of this game. I mean, you have to know that it's... A simple game about unlocking yourself fastest. I mean, that's that's really the biggest con of the game. Moving on to the pros. <clears throat> Break Free is okay. I like it. I think it's a good children's game. I think it's a good family game. And I think it's an okay party game. And that's about, that's about as much I'm willing to say about it. So, 
I like the components. It looks cool. Um, it is kind of neat when you're all handcuffed together and you're racing to get out. The kids dig that, and the kids really did like this. And that that's what that's the biggest pro that I have with the game is that that the target market for this game, which was kids aged in my classroom six to eleven years old, really stink and enjoyed this game. So there you go. If you have kids in that age range, I can recommend this. If you don't have kids in this age range, I can't recommend this. And that's really the extent of the game. There's not much here. I do like the fact that they included all sorts of different alternate ways to play the game. But in the end, it pretty much boils down to just simple stuff like play it in the dark, play it with your eyes closed, uh, have two, or, you know, one on each wrist if you're playing a two-player game. Simple stuff like that, but it's still nice that they included that with the game. So in the end, Spy Code, Break Free from Yulu. I can recommend it if you have kids ages 6 to 11. If not, you're definitely going to want to pass on this one. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below in the comments below. Let me know. Have you ever gone to jail? For me personally, yes. Once. There you go. Let me know in the comments below. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube.